Hey Steve, this is Zach. Um, I'm at the house on Griffin Street and I just wanted to show you a little bit of the neighborhood. You know, really nice houses. This home right here, just two down, just so you know, they paid under $2,000 in taxes in 2018. So that home right there. Um, so you're going to be right around $2,000 a year in taxes. This is the home. Um, these are some of the other homes being built. Uh, beautiful neighborhood just uh, awesome location you're right near the freeway um, I mean it's just a great location I love how they use the shiplap or actually that's not shiplap sorry but it's all wood siding but you see how they have the different styles they're gonna have rock there where you see it unfinished and then the uh, horizontal planks on this side so you got some differences there and my suspicions were correct this is an oversized two-car garage literally way more space than just for two cars um the two cars would fit in comfortably and stop about right here where i'm standing so you could have all this space back here as work this is about where the space you would have because the cars would be behind this spot right here so just a ton of workspace as well as holding two cars you know, a little landing area when you come in through the garage. Now, this home's not finished, but there is a home that is finished. And you can see from the pictures how it will look finished. It'll be very similar. Um, you know, you got your fireplace here. Um, and then it opens up. It's all open because this will be the kitchen here with an island there. You see the hookups for the island. Uh, that's where... Your pantry will be so a really good sized pantry um, nice backyard everything I believe includes a finished backyard so you'll get sod in there so it should look nice especially with the raised um, planter bed in the back you know put flowers in there make it look real good fireplace uh, 10 foot ceilings if you haven't noticed and it also has inlays an inlay here in the living room to add a touch of design, all can lighting. Um, here's the master, absolutely stunningly huge master. I mean, it's just huge. Like I would say, you know, um, a good 15 feet to that corner and then a good, you know, 13 feet to that wall from here. So you just have a ton of space, some light windows, Again, they have the inlay in the ceiling with can lights. Really nice. Huge bathroom. You know, you'll have his and her sinks here. New cabinets, obviously. Um, and then an enclosed space for the toilet with a soaker tub. Soaker tub here and then shower back there. Walk-in shower. Really big closet. Hopefully you can see it with the low light. This is going to be a nice walk-in shower, though. I mean, it's just a, it's going to be nice. Privacy window. And then once you go back out to the living room area again, you would walk down the hall here. This is just a little closet for coats, I imagine. Um, once you go to the front door, uh, and then you take a right here. This is where the first bedroom is. Good size room, you know, great, great guest bedroom. Um, I'd say from here to the wall there is about a little over 10 feet, I'd say. Probably about 11. And then from here to here, we're talking probably about 8 or 9 feet. So just plenty of room for a guest bedroom. And then you have your laundry room here. And then a guest bathroom here by the front door. Um, look really good and then one more guest bedroom again about the same size as the other one but uh, really high ceilings you know this builder does good work uh, the taxes are going to be right where you need them about 2000 and the location I just can't even tell you how good the location is it's, I doubt you'll find one better so um, I do think you would like this and uh, you know hopefully I think you know, I would strongly consider if I was you because it's going to be very difficult to find something like this in your price range. So let me know what you think.